Now this is a colonial two-door inspired home. The property was is back at District 26. We are in the Springside Lander Enclave today. Now if you love to have a freehold land that's inter-terrace in nature, check out the rest of this Lander home tour with us and we'll talk more along the way. Let's go. So what is a Tudor Colonial inspired home? Tudor is like a lighter version of the Colonial Neighbours. It's like a more modern version that gives you a lot of symmetry whenever you look at the fine lines between the black and white. When this was fully renovated in the year 2017, they literally spent close to about 250,000 of renovation, heck of all the flooring, pipings were changed, air conditions were new. Beauty of buying a renovated unit, of course, is that you don't have to spend extra hard cash, extra months of renovation depending on the speed of a contractors. You save time for your family, you can move in straight on, all the key items are being re-renovated. We love the fact that you have this 6.1 meter ceiling height, giving you this extra loft space that you have. Right now, there's a total of four bedrooms plus an extra helper's room, three bathrooms, free home in status. The land is 1851 square feet. Build out is estimated to be about 3,200 square feet. So the plot width is 6.6 .6 meters, the depth is 26 meters. In future, if you want to build up to five bedrooms plus one or six bedrooms plus one, you can do that if you need more bedrooms as your family needs increase. Let's have a look a little bit about the living room first. So let's go. Okay, so there are two entrances to this home. You have this like beautiful huge door over here. Of course, digital lock has been installed. So this is like a nice huge main door that you have. This is an enclosable bifold door that allows you to close up both panels on the left and right side. So you can do this. There's a little bit of light design over there, so a little bit more privacy but in any case your front gate direction that is facing more towards the south southwest direction the back of the house is facing towards northeast in terms of directional facing is very balanced nice two door automated gate if you have a super long car this is definitely enough you have like 10 panels of shoe cabinetry space right here top and middle section if you want to top out on the bottom you can still do that as well Beautiful vintage version like house condition is fantastic because all this were all hack and uh, read late. Yeah, so of course the black and white blinds are inspired. This portion is really nice and then you can just sit here, make it like your own little mini garden. There's also a nice swing chair over there. In case you're looking for a landed home, there are some very interesting facts that uh, you will need to consider and put on your checklist before you select a home and put on that down payment. Now this is District 26. Now Springside now is like a whole cluster of landed enclave. For the developers to continue building it, Springside Drive was the first few cluster that the developers has built. It's actually located one bus stop from the Springleaf MRT station that is stipulated to be completed. That is the Thompson East Coast Line. That is also where the famous Hans restaurant and a lot of eateries are. This line literally cuts into like four to five different interchange, like the Downtown Line, the Future Cross Island Line, the current Circle Line, and of course the North-South Line. Springleaf Station brings you straight on to Orchard Boulevard and Orchard MRT Station. So in future, if your kids were to come home themselves, they don't have to walk very deep into to the landed enclave which is what a lot of parents are concerned about because sometimes when they come back a little bit later in the night you enjoy the level of convenience and flexibility let's talk a little bit more about some of the facts of this home and uh, we've got to check out the renovation let's go now the hall is so huge that you can have like a four-seater l-shaped sofa that's fronting towards the TV console. At the same time, this space allows you to have a nice reading zone. So there are multiple uses for this. You can put in a huge bookshelf that goes up all the way to the 6.1 meter ceiling. I also have this version over here that's just a small little study. Or maybe you can use this to be a very functional area for kids to do their work over here.
roundish dining table. How many seater is this? One, two, three, four. Just like we're in a Chinese restaurant. Nice marble table over here. This is like a reminiscence of the house that we just saw at Simon Walk. That's what kids will love to play and I love to play this in a Chinese restaurant when I was a kid. Now this is the part that the owners has done up with their own display. In order to have more wall space, it's of course important to distinguish whether do you like like uh, open kind of kitchen concept or do you want a little bit more enclosable version. But uh, if you want to have like a more enclosed kitchen kind of concept like what we have here, that gives you the extra wall space that you need if you want to build up more storage space over at this wall line. So staircase is tucked right at this corner, there's an under staircase storage space over here as well. But before I talk about the kitchen, uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the price behaviours, especially in the Springside region. So the prices has really boosted up pretty significantly over the past one year. Right now, if you want to get an inter-terrace over at the Thompson, Upper Thompson area, I would say that it's really short in supply. But if you were to go upwards a little bit towards the Springside zone, you have one that is specifically a semi-detached enclave. And that's closer to the future MRT station at Springleaf. Now, if you go one bus stop upwards, which is the region that we're standing right Right now at Springside Drive opposite us at the Ming Swan. This whole entire cluster is a three story mixed landed cluster. So you can go up to three and a half story building the attic level upstairs if you want to do a little bit of E and A. This is good for the long run for a family to keep this freehold land parcel. So let's have a look at some of the core differences if you are planning to do your own renovation. In terms of your cash outlay of your pocket, say $2.8 million, your 5% cash outlay, assuming you're using CPF for the balance 20% down payment plus your stamp duties, 5% outlay will then be at about 140 thousand dollars in terms of cash for your pocket towards the down payment versus buying something say like three million dollars but is fully renovated just like this house your cash outlay will be at about 150 thousand dollars for that five percent down payment if you were to buy something that is not renovated at 2.8 million dollars and then you pump in an additional two hundred fifty thousand dollars in terms of renovation that will bring our total cash outlay to three hundred and ninety thousand dollars versus buying the renovated house at $150,000. The difference is quite distinct when you buy a renovated and a non-renovated home. Of course, some buyers will love to buy a non-renovated home because you have your own specific taste. In fact, for this home, if you were to change the furniture color theme to a more neutral tone, you can actually go for a more Scandinavian kind of style and design. The color theme can be easily modified. Right now, I think it's time to have a look at the kitchen, so let's go. Yeah, you never break, you never lie. There are three portions that has been reconfigured. The first portion will be this fantastic dry kitchen space. Two door huge Bosch fridge right here. There's loads of top cabinetry. I love the fact that there's this like pull out at the side uh, for you to put in your oven toaster and your microwave. There's also top and bottom additional storage space. Now these are nice huge pull out drawers. And you can put in like loads of heavy plates and stuff and pots and pans. Beautiful marble top finish. Plus has been catered. Sometimes you buy off the market landed properties that are built to sell. Families that has re-renovated their own home, they actually thought through the process of living and they will identify certain areas to put in plugs, certain power points. So these are very functional living experiences that families will want to have. This is also where the granny room is located. You have this nice sizable granny room right on level one. Six panels of nicely done cabinetry space. This can feed up to a queen easily. I think it can also go up to a king. And then you have a nice dressing table, couch at the corner. So a nice granny room right on level one for your parents or maybe just as a guest room. Small little things like this drop down portion here is very important because this allows you to wash your kitchen without spilling water into the living room space. And then there's another drop down portion right here. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend. The second zone is this portion here. There's still like a separate thing with like a sensor like this is also where the water dispenser is and there's some storage uh, cabinetry you have your helpers room here so you can also utilize this as your utility room if you don't have a live-in helper and this is where the common bath or level is being located at that opens up towards uh, the backyard
As we head over to the third zone of the kitchen, this portion has been totally redesigned. You still have a backyard over at this direction with a nice sliding panel door that has also been done with a tinted solar film. This portion right here at the back allows you for drying your clothes. It can be fully enclosable. You pump the aircon from the living room, it will flow right back to the kitchen. And not forgetting, there is still an additional sliding panel here. So in case you want to do heavy cooking, you just need to close this up and then you open up this sliding panel at the back and then you can do your heavy cooking right here. I love this wet kitchen the most. You have a very sizable two sink system at this direction and then you have an open flame cooker hood and hob plus a lot of tabletop space, movable small little table right here. If you want to build a full-on island, that's still possible. There's still space over in this direction for a stainless steel kitchen cabinet system over here. Secondary fridge, and this is where your washer, you can put it in a dryer as well. Beautiful roof that is done with ceiling fan. So, I think let's head towards level two. Let's go. Yeah, you and I, both longing for expression for the things we like, but we stay quiet. We stay quiet. Now this is the level that uh, your master room is situated in. Say it loud, say it loud, wake the world on the other side, make it real, just let yourself go. Uh, what I want to show is this beautiful ceiling height loft space here. You can even see Beatrice from here. Hi Beatrice. <laughs> okay, so this is the zone if you want to build up more bedrooms. What you can do is that get your builder, do A and A, and of course apply the BCA to level up this level. If you don't need to have that high ceiling effect, you can't use that left section for one of the bedroom and the right section for the second bedroom. Or alternatively, if you want to have one huge bedroom that's fronting towards the front, that is doable as well. So this can go up to a six beta or a five beta if you do this modification. Now let's have a look at the master room. Just let go. So for the master room, this room now has also been reconfigured because originally there were two bedrooms here. One of the other bedrooms is now being converted into this beautiful walk-in wardrobe. So this used to be a room by itself. The owners have actually combined these two rooms into one. But of course, if you want to reinstate this, you will need to take down this left panel of the wardrobe space pump back the door and close back this portion right here. The windows will actually face towards outside, towards your living room area. So originally, this should be your walk-in closet. The owners have remodeled them into a nice cozy study space. Two study table on the left and right side. You can do your work at home right now. This is a fantastic space to be used as a dresser as well. You have a nice cozy little reading corner with two nice colonial armchairs right here. Bed space definitely can go up to a king. That's definitely possible. We love the fact that you don't have to spend money on the bathroom renovation. This has all been redone. Water tiles, flooring, plumbing works. Nice space for a movable vintage version kind of bathtub. Full on marble sink material. These are all very solid finishing. The bathroom design teams are different for each of the bathrooms. Later as we head on to level three, you'll notice a very interesting bathroom right upstairs. So let's go. One thing about the Springside area is that there are a lot of parcels of land. If you live in a landed enclave with future developments, that would mean that in terms of overall quantum, that might increase or maybe the per square foot for the land PSF is going to increase as well. As long as there's upward movement in your landed enclave, that means that um, there's a safety price benchmark for your landed property right now. I think it's important to get out into action because landed properties as we observed in the past 12 months is really like shooting up to the roof a lot of people are appreciating the fact that they are buying the land is really great for a freehold land for a family to hold on to the gradual upward movement in terms of appreciation and capital preservation is fantastic now this room um we're at level three Laboratory, there are two bedrooms. In one room is facing towards the back. You have two windows portion here. Uh, so it's a very bright room. You have this nice, oh, check this out. Nice capsule, um, but I shall not disturb the rabbits. 
This room is fantastic for a kid's room. This corner, I think it's beautiful for your beds. This entire portion is for toys, study, books. A lot more room for your kids to enjoy their space. Nice four panel wardrobes in this direction. This is also a very sizable room with two portions, super high bed. This is a built-in structure, you can remove this if you want a movable bed. But this is a nice storage bed because you have storage. Wow, look at this. I think you should keep this bed. Yeah, it's really great for toys. Dresser, study table, fronting towards the front. Now let's have a look at the view. On my right hand side, that's where the two private projects called the Brooks. They are fronting towards the main road itself. Now, of course, on the left hand side, there's greenery at the back. So I would say that Springleaf area, you're actually surrounded by a lot of nature and greenery. So the amount of airflow is fantastic. Opposite houses are actually quite a fair depth from us. So it's not too close. The road is a bit wider over here. The center line is divided by dotted white lines. So you can actually park your cars on the left and right side of both lanes. Mini living room area, you can put in your TV here. Nice five panel wardrobe tucked in the corner. The entire parquet flooring has been darkened with dark lacquer. These two rooms for the kids, they maintain it to be the neutral wood parquet color. So, have a look at this. Nice, beautiful, what should I call it? Mermaid inspired, or um, what do they call it? Uh? So we have decided that this should be called a seashell inspired bathroom. So you have a nice, I thought it's a seahorse but they say it's a unicorn. It definitely looks like a unicorn with that pointy top right here. So a unicorn tap, mermaid stuff right here, seashell inspired flooring and wall tiles. Beautiful seashell dustbin. <laughs> Bifo dolls, they save a lot of space. What? I notice is you have this very useful linen closet. It's a place to put in all your linens, all your towels and everything. So a lot of top process has been designed to the home. Let's head downstairs. I also love the fact that there's this nice little U-shaped curvature for the staircase. So you don't feel like you're running up towards a longish staircase. Why do people want to live in the spring leaf and cliff? It's because they want to live close to nature. So close to Lower Pierce Reservoir, Upper Pierce Reservoir, Macritchie Reservoir, Mandai as well. Bring your kids to the zoo. This home is really for families that wants to save the hassle of having your own renovation timeline. You want modern renovation with a tinge of uniqueness like this. Tudor Colonial inspired homes. Once again, if you want to change the theme of the home, is can be easily modified according to your own preference. If you want to have a look at a physical place, do give our listings manager a call. The link is just right down below. They are Beatrice and Gavin. They will always be very happy to answer your inquiries. And if you do come for a physical viewing, our landed report is right on to show you some of the possibilities for this home and of the cost and quotation involved. Once again, my name is Melvin Lim. And as always, we're happy to show you the place. Take care. It doesn't even make sense. Why we try to fight it? Hear the construction noise. How do I look? This mast. It's you. Hi, Josephine. <laughs> <laughs>